All right, welcome to your most trusted and comprehensive sports related YouTube channel, El Achirakonde Writer. So it's a simple thing. It's a Saturday before the super clash involving Kumasiya Sante Koroko and Accra Hats of Folk at the Barbera Sports Stadium. Before we get into this, do not forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment, and share. Put your opinions, comment, um, your predictions in the comment section so that we can get this video to trend. So, what are we talking about today? We are talking about Kumasiya Sante Kuroko hosting Accra House of Folk at the Barbaria Sports Stadium for the first time since 2018. It's a March Day 24 clash between the two titans. It is also one of the biggest derbies in global football. Don't think it is just African derby. It is one of the biggest in global football. So you can look at Barcelona versus Real Madrid in the Clasico in Spain. The old firm derby between Glasgow Rangers and Celtic. Or Panathinaikos versus Olympiacos in Greece. So it's one of the biggest derbies, obviously. Um, like you can compare to Ali versus Zamalek in the Egyptian Premier League. So the same that House of Folk and Kumasi Asante Koko are doing at the Kumasi Babaya Sports Stadium. This becomes the 109th, listen, 109th encounter between Kumasi Asante Koko and Accra House of Folk in the Ghana Premier League. So, out of the meetings that the two sides have met in this 108 previous encounters, Kumasi Asante Koko have won 35 of them, Accra House of Folk have won 36, and the rest have ended in draws. Kumasi Asante Koko against Accra House of Folk since the inception of professional league football in Ghana. That is from 1993-1994 season to date. They've met 47 times. Accra House of Folk have won 17 times. Listen, Accra House of Folk have won 17 times as against 10 times by Kumasi Asante Koko. House of Folk have scored 51 goals as against 41 scored by Kumasi Asante Koko. Now, in meetings between Kumasi Asante Koko and Accra House of Folk since the inception of Ghana Premier League in the Barbaria Sports Stadium in Kumasi, House of Folk have 18 wins, Kotoko 18 wins, and 16 have ended in draws. So you know who holds the odds. It is clear that Kumasi Asante Koko at the Barbaria Sports Stadium since 1993 have not been able to dominate Accra House of Folk at their own backyard. Going into this fixture, the last time Kumasi Asante Koroko won a game against Accra House of Folk at the Barbera Asposo dates back as far back as 2012. That is 10 years ago. 10 years ago, Kumasi Asante Koroko have not beaten Accra House of Folk in any league encounter between the two sides. So that is very high. Now let's delve deep into the camp news going into this particular fixture. Let's start with news from the camp of Kumasi Asante Koroko. We begin with suspensions and injuries and we delve into other news. Now with suspensions, defender Abdul Ismail Ghani, who is the captain for Kumasi Asante Koroko, is not expected to play in this particular fascia. Basically one, due to suspension and two, to fitness concerns. One, on March Day 22 in the Ghana Premier League, Kumasi Asante Koroko played against Karela United at the Barbera Asports Stadium, where Abdul Ismail Ghani was sent off for a dangerous foul on Kevin Ando of Karela United. If we read the article on the Ghana Premier League regulations, which talks about suspensions and injuries or suspensions for dangerous play, it says that a player who suffers a, or receives a straight red card for a dangerous foul on a player can serve up to a minimum of four games in addition to paying a fine. So we do not know whether referee Maso Hansen put in his match report that the foul was a dangerous foul. If it was a dangerous foul, then Kani was going to miss this game. But if it's not a dangerous foul, then he will serve two game suspension, including the game in which he was sent off. That is a Carolina United match. And he already set out of the game against Ken Pfizer, also at the Barbera Sports Stadium. So, if he is not suspended, then we have reports that he did not train on Wednesday, Thursday, yesterday he did not train. The team is expected to train today. We did not also expect Abdul Ismail Ghani to take part in the training session for Kumasi Asante Koroko ahead of this game. Now, the player who played as a makeshift 
makeshift center back for Kotoko against Ken Faisal when Abdul Ismail Ganil was not available. It's Justice Blay. The breaking or the heartbreaking news for Kumasa Sante Kotoko fans is that Justice Blay is also not available for this particular game because of injuries. He's not the only one. He's been joined on the treatment board by Richmond Lamte, who also did not train for the entire week. So that makes the injury situations in the Kotoko camp four. Isaac Opon Sunyane Neema is also not available because he has also been out for a number of games now due to injury. So Kotoko have five key injury concerns in their camp going into this particular fixture. Prospana Ateogun will not have Abdu Ismail Ganiu, Richmond Lamte, Isaac Opon Sunyane Neema, Justice Blay for this particular fixture. So, um, which, which more I'm also adding to it. So, five key absentees for this particular game at the Barbaria Sports Room. In the camp of Accra House of Folk, there's only one player who will be missing, conspicuously missing in action will be Richmond, i.e. the goalkeeper, who is only missing due to yellow cards accumulation. He's receiving five yellow cards, so it put him out of this particular fixture on Sunday. But apart from that, all the House of Folk players are available. Richmond Atai, if you saw his latest look on social media, his new hairstyle, fantastic hairstyle, he's back and available for this particular fixture. Now, Look at the House of Folk, they go into this feature with one of the most experienced squads for or in the Ghana Premier League, Sulali Muntari, who has three FIFA World Cup experience, has won the UEFA Champions League, has worked under managers like Jose Mourinho at Inter Milan, is going to be in action. He's already led House of Folk to victory against Kumasa Santikroko in the President's Cup, which already happened. Um, some couple of weeks ago, and Glasson Awako, of course, he's won everything on the African continent. He's won the CAF Champions League, the CAF Confederations Cup, the CAF Super Cup. He's won the Congolese League title. He's played in the USA and a lot of players, very experienced players, also available. Then, of course, the big news, the big news for House of Folk fans, but not a big news for Kumasi Asante Kroko fans. Yesterday, around 1 p.m., 1.30 p.m., Accra House of Folk announced the signing of former Kumasi Asante Kroko defender, Samuel Inkum. Inkum is now a phobian. So if you go on the House of Folk social media handles, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you see the announcement taken large there. Samuel Inkum featured for Kumasi Asante Kroko in the 2008 2009 season after he joined from second year Azakis, but it was just a single season where he played. After which, in 2009, he was part of that victorious Ghana U20 team that became the first African side to win the FIFA U20 World Cup. Samuel Inkum played an integral part of that campaign together with the likes of Emmanuel Ajimemba Du, Andrea Yu, Jonathan Mensah, Sadek Adams, Francois Rossay, Dominic Adia, and the likes. So Samuel Inkum is now a phobian. And you read from the House of Four Facebook page, they say that he's a true and true phobian. So he joins Sulali Muntari and Glassin Awako in the House of Folk setup. Now, we're looking at the last time Accra House Folk played against Kumasa Sante Koroko at the Barbaria Sports Stadium. It came dates way back in April 29, 2018. The game ended 1-0 in favor of Accra House Folk. And it was by the kindest courtesy of the man Kumasa Sante Koroko fans fear most, Patrick Razak. Don't forget, in the President's Cup that was played a couple of weeks ago, it was this same man who climbed off the substitute bench to score the all-important goal to give House of Folk a 1-0 victory. A 2-1 victory, I beg your pardon. But in that game, at the Barbaria Sports Stadium, he was the one, do you remember that goal? That beautiful dummy, and that cutting, and that swerve, and the pass, and that shot that defeated Felix Hanan for the only goal of the game. If you look at that particular House of Folk squad, they have about five players who played in that 2019 encounter who are still available in this particular House of Folk squad for this game. Name that can roughly all come on top of mind. Fatal Mohammed played in that game. Kwajo Abenyuna was in action. Patrick Azako himself was also, was also in action. And of course, there's Ben Mensah who was imposed that day. So House of Folk have a core of that team so around. But Kumasa Santa Kuroko, if you look around, almost all the players have exited the scene. Now, there's one last key or important factor that if you're a football analyst, if you're a football aficionado in this country, 
when you want to do analysis on Kotoko across a full game in this era, you cannot downplay it. Samuel Bodu, the Samuel Bodu factor. Since Samuel Bodu came or became the coach of Accra House of Folk, he's never ever lost a game against Kumasiya Sante Kotoko. This is very key. This is going to be the fourth time he's going to play against Kumasiya Sante Kotoko since he took charge of, of Accra House of Folk. Last season, he was in the dugout at Accra Sports Stadium when Daniel Afriye Banier scored that cracking goal for Accra House of Folk when they defeated Kumasiya Sante Kotoko by one goal to zero. This season, they've already met in the Ghana Premier League at Accra Sports Stadium. It ended 0 0. And then, in the President's Cup, he was in the dugout and masterminded that 2 1 victory over the Porcupine Warriors. So, Kotoko have a big job at hand to do at 3 p.m. tomorrow at the Kumasi Babara Sports Stadium. That is to beat Samuel Bodu for the first time. It's not going to come easy for Kumasi Asante Kotoko. But looking at the points gap between the two sides, Kumasi Asante Kotoko are on 49 points as against House of Folks 36. There's a 13 points gap. If House of Folk want to breathe life into their dying or faint hopes of winning or retaining the Ghana Premier League title they won last season, they have to beat Kumasi Asante Koroko at the Kumasi Barbera Sports Stadium. But of course, there are Kumasi Asante Koroko fans who have said that, look, even if we win the Ghana Premier League title and we don't beat Accra House of Folk, in Kumase, we will never ever be happy. So they'll be looking out for a victory, but that will not come easy. Um, with House of Folk coming with Glass Nawako, Suleiman Tari, Samuel Inkum, Kwajo Ben Jr., um, Daniel Afriye Bani, Patrick Razak, all these guys coming and these key absentees in the Kumase Asante Kroko team. But if you're a Pork Pan Warriors fan and you look at the likes of Frank Mbella Itoga, George Infegi, Wadrig, you're looking at Mudasiru um, Salifu, you're looking at a number of fantastic players, Imo Ibrahim and the likes, should get faith and confidence in your team. That come what may tomorrow, the Porcupine Warriors are going to do their magic and try and get to the maximum points from this particular game. It's going to be tough. I promise you that. It's not going to come easy because Hustle Folk have not lost a game in Kumasi in the past 10 years. So it's going to not it's going to be difficult for you guys to get a victory. But this is where we draw the curtains down on this preview and build up to this particular game tomorrow. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Put your comment in the comment section. In fact, your predictions. Predict. I am predicting that Accra has a folk will not return to Accra empty-handed. They will come with either a point or the maximum point. Let me also know what you think. Whether you think that for the first time, Kumasi Asante Koroko are going to beat some of as a coach of Accra has folk. Put that in the comment section. But before that, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment and share so that it can trend. We will meet again after the game, maybe around 6.30, p.m. tomorrow. And we will discuss more details on whether has of folk get what merited the results or Kumasa and Koroko have ultimately sealed the 2021-2022 league title. Thank you for watching and stay